What's in the bag? Um, drugs in the bag? Is that why you're running? No. No? There's no drugs in the bag. There's no drugs in the bag? Is there any drugs in the car? Uh, that's the one, the purple one. Yeah, it's exactly for safe trying now. The uh, blue one's stolen. Officers Andy Oakley and Stephen Frost have just spied two cars that spell trouble. 650 left onto Sunshine Ave. Uh, not on the highway, heading up to Sunshine Ave. Oh, right lane. Get, get your stop sticks out, mate. But both cars have now floored it. Yeah, everything can come better in a marked car. Is there any way you want them? Yeah, south of us. Yeah, south of us and Sunshine Ave. Tell them to stick the stop sticks out at Sunshine Avenue and um, get them out at Sunshine Avenue immediately. Yeah, 650, get them put the stop sticks out immediately on Sunshine Avenue. So he's coming towards us doing 160. Yeah, 650, he's coming towards him doing 150, just past Odessa. He's running right ready. Two cars, they're coming up to Sunshine Avenue. The stolen car's driving erratically, but still manages to get away. But for the other driver, the drama's only just beginning. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Have on your back. Someone got that passenger! Someone got that passenger! You're under arrest for conduct endangering persons and conduct endangering life. We know you've been at the car with that stolen car and your driving is absolutely ridiculous. So you're under arrest for your driving. You're endangering people's lives the way you've driven since you came out of that back street down in Taylor's Hill. Fair enough? Yep. Yep. Do you have a licence? Yes, I do. What's in the bag? Drugs in the bag? Is that why you're running? No. No? There's no drugs in the bag. There's no drugs in the bag? Is there any drugs in the car? Uh, should be. There is? Is that what you're doing? Is that why you're driving like crazy, is it? No. Are you dealing or something? Is that what the problem is? No. Who's in the blue car, mate? I'm not sure. You don't know who's in the blue car. You were talking to him outside an address 10 minutes ago over in, um, what's it called? Tururo. Whereabouts in the car, the drugs, mate? We're going to rip the whole car apart. Are you going to tell us where they are? I'm trying to think where they are. There should be in a little plastic tank. What kind of drugs are they, mate? How much have you got in there? How much? Uh, just over a gram. A gram. And, uh, the last I heard, right. Where do you want to point out whereabouts they are? Just there in that plastic container. Okay. And it seems there's plenty of them. Is that plastic container? Yes. Okay. But he seems to think he and his pink car are being victimised. Well, mate, if you drive in the way you drive, driving... I bring that car out. I get pulled over. Whether it's on a permit, whether I'm taking it to a wedding hey, shop... Don't be saying today you've been pulled over because... No, we're I don't know why you have done that. You just went through a red light. light. Do you do 170 k's I don't know why I got done today. Do you know what I mean? You're bringing right. it on yourself, aren't you? The man was driving in tandem with this stolen car, which used a series of erratic manoeuvres to get away. Look, we haven't searched the car properly yet, we're doing that now, but we've, we've, we've already found drugs in the car, we've already got knives in the car, so we're going to search you for other weapons. Possibly methamphetamine? Definitely not what it looks like. Maybe it's MDMA. It says definitely not what it looks like on it the box. Is. It definitely isn't what it looks like. <laughs> They're not drugs. That's just bath salts. Ripping people off. But the only loser today is him. Not that he seems to care. Been through the situation a couple of times. You know, win some, you lose some. It happens. I'll lose the car for 28 days and go and get it out of impound. But Andy has some plans that could shock the driver. What's your head? But he wouldn't be so nonchalant if he knew what was in store. For this is anything but an impound yard. Oh well, gotta learn your lesson somehow, I guess. That's it. You're going to hoot around. That's what's going to happen to your car, you know? 20 a week we're doing like that. 20 a week.
doing. Let the brake lie down on that. As officers Sue Brendel and Cameron Box are discovering, that's the least of this driver's problems. 84. Nice. 84 in the 70 so far. I reckon he's going to gun it. But if the driver was considering that, he's changed his mind. He's stopping. Uh, it's unregistered. Cancel. I'll get the keys. Turn the engine off, mate. Engine off. Thank you. Afternoon. How you doing? Good. Oh. Yeah. What's your name? I think I spoke with you a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, no worries. You're driving. All right. We spotted you going across Dorset Road, a tad too quick. Got you doing 84 in a 70 zone. Yeah. All right. So there's an issue of speed there. Is there any yeah. reason why you were exceeding the speed limit today? Just to get home to get ready for work. Just to get to work. Uh -huh. All right, you remember this from last time, yeah? Yeah. OK, just run your tongue around your mouth for me a couple of times, get some saliva happening. Stick your tongue out, mate, so I can see. That's it. Right on your tongue. OK, that's going to take a couple of minutes, all right? So you're right to sit tight for a minute? OK. A few weeks ago, he was also tested by myself, and it's come back as a positive result, and again today as a positive result. So he obviously hasn't learnt his lesson in the last few weeks. Um, still driving whilst under the influence of prescribed illicit drugs. Last time I spoke to you, I offered to organise some counselling for you. Yeah, right? I'm trying to get it all sorted. All right. It's too hard. Well, I can, now, I, can, I can assist with you with that. I can get some counselling for you, OK? Um, it's obvious you've got a problem. You need to, to deal with it and get something done about it, all right? You can't keep doing this. Yeah. All right, you can't keep getting pulled over for the same thing. It's just going to escalate and get worse for you. All right, you know there's mandatory sentences and to go to prison if you get caught doing this kind of thing on a regular basis. So it's about time to take charge and do something about it. Yep. All right? Did you want me to put in a, ref a referral for you this time round to get some get some help for you? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. And further adding to the driver's woes, the plates are cancelled, so the car is unregistered. You can't drive. Because you've got this um, illicit substance in your system, that's going to ground you anyway for 12 hours, but the car's unregistered. Yeah. I know where you are that, so you can't drive it. Yeah. All right. I don't want to see you driving that car again unless it's roadworthy and you're clean and everything is on par, all right? He's in a dire strait if something happens and he gets involved in a collision with somebody else. He's got no insurance, he's got no coverage. Um, let alone how the other person may come off. He needs to start learning to do the right thing. And unfortunately, if it means an appearance in front of a magistrate to do that, then we will keep ensuring that that happens until hopefully one day he does wake up to himself and realise that he's got to start doing the right thing.